okay, our last tutorial showed you how to put in a specialty carpet within each of the floors. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you how to give your walls color. Now, if I click on this wall, you'll notice how it extends all the way across. If you want this wall to be the same all the way across, then you can do that. But I'm gonna actually show you how to do it where it's only inside this room that I want this to be. Now, in that last video, I showed you how to create a new material. Now, we're gonna need to do that again. I'm gonna click on level one. I'm gonna go a little faster this time because we've already done it once. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna create a wall because I'm gonna put a very thin wall, almost like wallpaper thin, along this edge right here so that it can look different than the rest of them. So I'm gonna click on wall. Here's the basic wall. I'm gonna to go to edit type. And then I'm gonna click duplicate. And I'm gonna name this um, wall paper. And I'm going to give it, um, let's do flowers, just for something silly. Hit okay. And then let's go ahead and go here to edit. Now, I don't want it six inches. I'm actually gonna make this super thin. I'm gonna make it a quarter of an inch thick. So that's 0.25. I'm gonna come in here, click on there. Now, this is going to be wallpaper. So I believe there is um, interior wall right here. We can use as a selection to start with. Come down and do create new material. Once again, if this side isn't here, simply hit your little arrows down here and it's gonna show up. Now I need to give this a name, wallpaper flowers. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it right here so that it changes it down here. Click on appearance. Now I need to go find an image. So if I go here, I'm gonna change this to flower wallpaper. And let's see what we get. So I'm gonna just go on a whim here. Wow, these are crazy. Let's go with just something a little subtle. Let's click on this one. I'm gonna right click and do save image as. I'm gonna name it flower wallpaper and then hit save. It showed me down here that it saved. Go back into here and under generic image, I'm gonna click there and then I see it right here. Hit open. It changed here, it changed here, beautiful. Hit apply and hit okay. Hit okay again and one more time. Now I need to draw the wall. So I'm gonna make sure my location line says core face interior so that I can click on an edge and bring it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on modify and go to my 3D view. And here you can see it actually added this in here. Now this is a good lesson. If I zoom in really tight, you can see the little patterns here, right? So if I zoom out, I'm not quite sure how good that looks. You can probably, here's a graphic scale, you should be able to change this here. So maybe instead of an eighth, I go to a half and I hit apply. It's gonna change the size a little bit. So if you want just this one section of a wall, you're gonna create a new wall. You could put this along any of these walls. You could do each one a different one, a different material, all right? If you just want it paint, you can do the same thing. If you come over here, you can type in blue paint, pick a solid blue color, like something like this, save it, and then put that in your image. And that's how you can paint your wall.